Spoilers ahead. Watch out, and take care. Mimura Shinojo lives in a small town in Japan, along with his loving wife K.O., and an old servant Tokuhei. Shinojo works as a food taster for the local feudal lord, but often shares his unhappiness about his job, as he is not satisfied at all. One night, Shinojo tells his wife K.O. about his plans of leaving the job, and opening a kendo school to teach sword fighting to children from all castes, as it's his childhood dream. Although he thinks leaving the job might come with some financial struggles, as they won't be able to maintain their current lifestyle, but K.O. is in full support of him, as long as he is happy. Before he can start working on his plan, Shinojo falls ill while testing some whelk sashimi, making everyone believe that the food was poisoned. Learning about it, the kitchen superintendent Higuchi orders to close the gates of the castle, while asking the staff to stay inside until they find the culprit. Soon, the investigation concludes that it was not anyone's fault, but the food itself was not safe to use in the off-season. After everyone is allowed to leave, Shinojo is brought home, where the doctor advises K.O. to take good care of him, until he recovers. Learning about Shinojo, his aunt Hitano visits to see him, and offers some money to K.O., to bear his medical expenses. When he eventually wakes up after three days, K.O. and Tokuhei happily intend to prepare his favorite food, but Shinojo realizes he cannot see anything. K.O. also suspects something's wrong with his eyes, and questions Tokuhei about it, but he ignores her concerns, and intentionally changes the subject. The same night, when K.O. serves him dinner, she figures out the truth about his blindness. Shinojo tells her he did not want her to worry, so intentionally kept it a secret, but she assures him that she will always take care of him, and won't leave him alone in this difficult time. K.O. further comforts him by saying she will consult Dr. Jensei again, and is sure Shinojo will recover soon. The next day, Dr. Jensei examines him, and assures him that his blindness is only the side effect of his high fever, and won't last long. After satisfying him with his positive attitude, Dr. Jensei then talks to K.O. in person, and reveals Shinojo might not be able to see ever again. Although upset, K.O. hides the truth from him, and keeps him distracted by talking about different subjects. One day, while coming back after praying for him at a temple, K.O. comes across Shimada Toya, a high-class samurai and chief duty officer at the castle, who tells her that he often used to see her, before her marriage when he was at a fencing school, while K.O. used to regularly visit the temple. He also shares his sympathies for Shinojo, and offers to help K.O. with earning a living for her family. As soon as she returns home, Tokuhei reveals that Shinojo forced him to tell the truth about his eyes, and he gave up, but she is not mad at all, knowing they could not have hidden it from him any longer. Seeing Shinojo upset, she apologizes for keeping the truth from him, and tries to calm him down, but he asks her to leave him alone, as he does not want to share his feelings with anyone. The same night, K.O. and Tokuhei wake up after hearing the noise from his room. Tokuhei tries to talk him through, but Shinojo asks him about his sword. He gets frustrated, after knowing that Tokuhei has left it in store, and orders him to bring it back to his room, but K.O. interferes, and stops him from complying. Furious, Shinojo fights with both of them, and has a mental breakdown thinking he should die, as he is of no use to anyone. K.O. being his loyal wife, comforts him, and assures him that his illness does not mean anything to her, as she still loves him the same. Although she assures him of her complete support, Shinojo thinks he will have to be dependent on someone for the rest of his life, and fears K.O. might get fed up with him someday. She is shocked to hear his concerns, and once again assures him that she has loved him since childhood, and will never leave him no matter what. Concerned about them, their family's elders discuss how the family will survive, as they don't have a proper source of income now. K.O. shares that she is ready to do any job, even weaving sewing or being a maid at someone's house, but they don't allow it, as they think a woman from their family should not do such odd jobs. As they discuss, that they don't have a link to any influential person who can help them out, K.O. remembers her meeting with Shimada Toya, and tells them about it. Shinojo's uncle, Yamazaki suggests she should accept the offer, and request him for some financial help, which she agrees to get, as they don't have any other option. Upon returning home, as she tells Shinojo about the meeting, he gets distressed thinking he has become a burden to his family, but she cheers him up, after offering to prepare his favorite food. After a few days, Uncle Yamazaki comes over to their house, and shares the good news that the chief superintendent from the castle called him earlier, and announced to continue Shinojo's stipend for the rest of his life. Yamazaki also suggests, Shinojo should personally visit the castle to pay his gratitude to the officers, as well as the Lord, for not leaving him alone in such dark times. 
As K.O. prepares his dress for the visit, Shinojo shares that he does not want to go, as he knows all servants will stare at him with pity. As he later jokes about his condition to Tokuhei, while asking him not to think of killing him in his blindness, they realize he has finally accepted his fate. Shinojo also tells Tokuhei, he has given up the idea of taking his life, and orders him to return the sword to his room. Shinojo and Yamazaki visit the castle, but after keeping them waiting for a while, the Lord only thanks Shinojo with a single word of gratitude. Keio has now started working at the temple, but Shinojo spends the entire day waiting for her to come back. One day, his aunt Hitano visits him again, and tells him that her husband saw Keio with another man. Although Shinojo expresses his anger with her for spreading the rumor, he starts getting suspicious of Keio, and requests Tokuhei to follow her. Acting upon his orders, Tokuhei keeps an eye on her, and finds her visiting Shamai to Toya's house, learning that she is cheating on Shinojo with him. Keio, who was aware of Tokuhei following her, later questions him about it, revealing that she knows Shinojo asked him to do so. Tokuhei offers to keep it a secret for her, but Keio decides to tell Shinojo, as she cannot hide it anymore. Keio tells Shinojo, when his uncle Yamazaki proposed she should get help from Shimada, she went to his house, and although he kindly agreed, his help came with a price. He assured her to talk to the officials at the castle, but forced himself onto her. She thought it only happened once, but he blackmailed her by threatening to tell Shinojo, and abused her again. After confessing to this, Keio tries to justify her actions by saying she only did it for Shinojo, but he feels betrayed by her. Distressed, he divorces her, and orders Tokuhei to send her away from the house. Although Tokuhei hesitates, Keio accepts her punishment, and leaves, while asking him to take care of his master. The next day, Shinojo resumes practicing sword fighting, and tells Tokuhei that he might be blind, but he will still perfect his skills. He also meets his teacher, and requests him to guide him further. Seeing his passion, the master learns he is planning for a duel with a samurai, but advises him not to do it, as he thinks Shinojo might lose due to his blindness. Shinojo disagrees with him, and says that although he can't see, he can sense his opponent's movements, and is planning to use this ability in the fight. Moved by his determination, the master agrees to teach him. He also asks Shinojo, why he is so angry with this unknown man, but Shinojo tells him he can't share it, fearing it might compromise his honor. Before ending the class, the master advises him that if he wants to win this fight, he must go all in, without even thinking about coming out alive. Shinojo's uncle Yamazaki comes over, after investigating who ordered the release of his stipend. He reveals that the decision was made by the council, and approved by the Lord in exchange for Shinojo's service, especially because he saved his life, by warning him about the poisonous food. Shinojo specifically asks, if Shimada requested the Lord for giving him financial help, but Yamazaki tells him, it had nothing to do with Shimada, because he only cares about himself, and never raises his voice for the people below his class. Listening to this, Shinojo learns that Shimada lied to K.O., and asks Tokuhei to deliver his message, and challenge Shimada to a duel. After asking him, to make sure no one else finds out about it, Shinojo also asks Tokuhei to tell Shimada not to underestimate him, because of his blindness. Shimada accepts the challenge, but tells Tokuhei that his master won't succeed against him, as he has professional training in sword fighting. Tokuhei also tries to keep Shinojo from the fight, but he tells him he must take revenge on Shimada, for what he did to K.O. Thinking he might not survive the fight, Shinojo thanks Tokuhei for serving him since he was a boy, and apologizes if he ever misbehaved with him. The next day, Tokuhei leads him to the river bank, and guides him about the surroundings. After a while, Shimada shows up, and says Shinojo should have been content now, as he has now divorced K.O., but Shinojo accuses him of using his wife. Shimada tries to cover up for himself saying she did it in exchange for a stipend, but Shinojo knows it's a lie, as Shimada never talked to the officials about them, and only used it as an excuse to deceive K.O. They eventually get into a fight, and although Shimada tries to take advantage of his blindness, Shinojo chops off his arm with a single blow. Tokuhei, who has been watching the fight, asks if Shinojo wants to give him a final blow, but he decides to leave him like that, saying he has avenged K.O. A few days after the fight, Yamazaki tells Shinojo, when bloodied Shimada was taken to the castle, they gave him first aid, and asked questions about the duel, he did not reveal the reason, and killed himself saying a samurai cannot live with a single arm. He also reveals that the investigation about his death is closed now, as no one knows who was Shimada's opponent in the duel. After he leaves, Tokuhei shares that he feared if someone knew it was Shinojo, he might have been summoned to the castle. 
Shinojo tells him he had plans to kill himself if they find out about the fight, but Tokuhei disagrees, and says he should not think like that, as he still has a long life ahead. One day, as Shinojo complains about Tokuhei's cooking, he requests permission to hire a girl for this purpose, and Shinojo agrees with him. As soon as he tries the new food, he recognizes the taste of Keio's hands, and orders Tokuhei to bring her in. She reluctantly serves him the food, but he apologizes to her. They eventually reconcile their relationship, and plan to start a new life together. The end. Thank you for watching. Subscribe if you'd like to see more videos like this. Turn on the notifications, and leave a like to help the channel out.